this video you are going to see network graph bus incident matrix primitive parameters bus admittance matrix from primitive parameters first of all network what is mean by network the another name of network is circuit it is an interconnection of element in various branches at different nodes this is the example network or circuit here it consists of different elements resistance inductance capacitance then some other circuits consist of voltage source current source etc these are the elements here the elements are marked as a b c d e f etc uh, this one is called network the another name of network is circuit the next one is graph what is meant by graph it is a representation of network obtained by replacing every element of network by line segment that is here these elements are just replaced by a line segments straight lines here a is replaced by a straight line like the like this remaining elements also okay this contains all nodes but it contains all nodes that is called graph the next is orientation graph orientation means direction if every branch of graph has direction then the graph is called direct graph or oriented graph here the uh, these are the straight lines indicated as the graph here every graph has a direction that is the arrow mark okay that is called orientation graph the next topic tree or twin tree is a subgraph of network which consists of all nodes as in the graph but has no closed path here this is one of the tree for this graph here it consists of all the nodes here this graph consists of four nodes here this tree also consists of four nodes but there is no closed path here this is open here this is open here another one example of tree for this graph here this tree also consists of all nodes 1 2 3 4 but open path this is the another uh, example for tree for this graph then link or cord the removal branches of tree is called links here this tree this branches are removed here one branch is there then here another one branch then here one branch these three branches are removed from this graph is form this tree so this is the link of this tree then similarly here in this tree this is the link for this tree removed branches of the tree is called link the next one is hatchet schedule for bus incident matrix an alternative method of finding out branch voltage is called hatchet schedule here this is on network here this network consists of four nodes the from this network draw a tree here this tree uh, consists of all the nodes the removed branches that is the links are marked as a dotted lines second step give the name of the tree branches first then to link here these are the tree branches the solid lines are tree branches here give the name as a b c d then followed by this link branches link branches are the dotted line e f g h also here mark the orientations the directions then mark the cut sets here this is a node that node is the cut set one here two uh, third node th three third cut set fourth node fourth cut set here mark the cut sets cut sets then uh, write the bus incident matrix for this cut sets here the bus incident matrix consists of cut sets in the row ways and the branches in the column ways then first of all write the three branches then write followed by write this link branches here two assumptions are current away from the cut set or node taken as positive here for example consider this cut set here this current is away from this node e so here it's taken as positive a also away from this node take positive then h 
is towards the cut set. So this is taken as negative. Now here, first of all, here for this cut set, cut set one, A, A away from the node plus one. Then E away from the node plus one. Then H towards the node minus one. Then remaining, uh, remaining elements are, there is no elements here in the cut set. So remaining are zero, put zero. Then similarly, cut set two, cut set two, E towards the node. So E is negative. Then B away from the node, H away from the node. B and H positive plus one. Then cut set three, C is away from the node, positive one plus one. Then G away from the node plus one. Then F minus one, F minus one. C plus one, G plus one. Then fourth cut set, here D away from the node, H away from the node. D plus one, H plus one. Then G towards the node, minus one. Then remaining elements are zero. This matrix is called incident matrix. Here the incident matrix is formed like this. The next one is primitive parameters. Primitive impedance matrix. Matrix which contains information about transmission line is called primitive impedance matrix. Here, consider a one circuit or network. Here, this circuit consists of F number of elements. Here, A to F. Here, write A to F. Then, A impedance value of this element. Impedance value of the element. Similarly, here in the BB place, write the B impedance value. Similarly, write all the impedances. It's generally it's only contains the diagonal elements. Remaining of diagonal elements are zero. The size of the primitive impedance matrix is E cross E. E is the number of elements in the branch. Here F number of elements. So the matrix size also F cross F. The size of the matrix. Suppose this matrix is called is a primitive matrix. Then Y primitive matrix. Matrix which contains information about transmission line admittance is called primitive admittance matrix. This matrix size also branch cross branch. Number of branches cross number of branches. That is E cross E. This matrix is just obtained from the Z bus matrix. Just take inverse. It's very simple. Um, the diagonal element because the off diagonal upper half triangle and lower half triangles values are zero. So the diagonal value just to take inverse one by Z A, just hit O A, then one by Z B, one by Z C, etc., one by Z F. The matrix becomes Y primitive matrix. Just a diagonal matrix, diagonal element take inverse. No need to take a adjoint of a Z, then determinant of Z, such calculations. The diagonal, just to take the diagonal element value inverse. One divided by that value get to a primitive matrix. Then finally, primitive network. Primitive network for Weibus matrix. These topics are very much important for calculating the Weibus matrix. Another method of Weibus matrix is singular transformation method. For singular transformation method, we require on formula. I obtain this formula and incident matrix, then we primitive matrix. For that calculations, you require these topics, graph, network, such topics are required. Network components are represented either by their impedance parameters or admittance parameters. A primitive network is a set of unconnected elements. This is the primitive admittance network. Here, this thing here, consider this primitive admittance network. Here, the current here in this node applying Kirchhoff's current law. The incoming current, these two currents are incoming currents. IB, I branch plus IG is equal to this one. That is Y, AB into BB minus BA. Because uh, this one is current. Y into V, that is current. Then take this term right hand side. I branch is equal to minus IG plus 
yab into db minus ba then we the incident matrix into branch current is equal to zero here the here in this this is the incident matrix multiplied into branch current branch currents here this branch current is i uh, the multiply this branch currents ia ie minus ih you know according to kirchhoff's current law algebraic sum of current in the node is equal to zero here this is the algebraic sum the incoming currents is equal to leaving currents so this value is equal to zero that is the incident matrix value into the branch current is equal to zero that is a into i branch is equal to zero then also uh, bb is equal to a transpose bx here substituting this equation from equation 1 and 2 we get that is this equation 3 is substituted here in the place of i branch substitute here then multiply inside a is multiplied inside then in the place of bb substitute this one then rearrange these equations take this term y take this terms left side that is bx terms in left side then remaining terms are taken in the right side now this is in the format this is um, compared to this equation y bus bx is equal to i bus comparing this two equation i bus is equal to this one then bx this is also vx the remaining one is y bus so here the y bus is equal to a y a b a transpose this is the required formula for calculating the y bus matrix by singular transformation method y bus is equal to incident matrix y primitive matrix into transpose of incident matrix next video you are going to see formulation of y bus matrix by singular transformation method numerical problems thank you